It goes. Hey there, beautiful. Well, as you can see, my camera is super broken. Um, I get to check on it um, this weekend because I'm busy right now doing videos for you guys. So yes, you get some part. Um, today I'm gonna show you my day tonight makeup tutorial. I'm gonna show you my date night um, tutorial that I always do when I go when I'm going out with my boyfriend. <laughs> so um, yeah, I have a picture right here that I always do. So first off, I'm gonna use so from what day tonight is. Um, if you haven't seen my other day night videos, you know that I always have my day makeup on, which is basically powder, foundation, and mascara. So I'm always, always wear that in my day, day time. Um, so that's my day makeup. And then you, for your night makeup, you want to just, um, for your day makeup is really, really simple. And, um, night makeup is more like, uh, defining and everything, so you want from day to night. So yes, you don't want to be night. And where have you been in this beauty world? So first off, I'm gonna use a cold pimple from NYC in the color jet black. And what I want to do is I'm gonna go underneath my waterline and just gonna smudge underneath there. So I'm just gonna do a smudge here. And I want to bring it up here. So I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to go from my waterline up to my eyelid. Right here. Just to make a little flick it up. Because this, this uh, makeup flick involves a flip. So I just want to smudge it in. You want to go underneath the waterline for a smudge look. You want to go very closely to the waterline. Yeah. Okay. And then for my Avon 8 in 1 eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take this brown color right here. I don't know if you can see it, this brown color back here. It's like a dark medium brown color. But actually, I want to use a vanilla color. So I'm going to use a vanilla color for my A1. So this vanilla color right over here. Just so I have a base. And I'm going to put this on my lid. Oh, I forgot to mention the foundation I'm using is my Avon Ideal Flawless um, Invisible Coverage Foundation in Sand Beige. And now I'm going to take that medium brown color. So I'm going to take that medium dark brown color. And I'm just going to go about three fourths of the way. And also going through my crease also.
like so. And then I'll take the cold pencil again. Just run it. On my line. I'm only doing half of this one, so halfway is going out towards the foot that I already made. And it's a small angle brush for my elf eye fillet face A3 palette. I'm going to use this um, chart and use this black color. And I'm going to run this over what I made the line like used for my color. And in the crease. I'm also going to take this black color in the inner corner. And I'm going to the outer corner. I'm going to the outer corner. And I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to um, buff it into this brown color. So I'm just going to eye as well. So let's go over that smudged cold pencil line. It's a very simple, like, little stuff here. Oh, this one. Oops. 
and I'm going to use my gel eyeliner from the color workshop. And I'm just going to go from the and go inner corner out, make a very thin line. I just want to get a little more depth. over the mascara I already have on. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Professional Paris Smoky Extravaganza Mascara. I'm going to put on real quick. You guys can know. I love using this, this mascara when I'm doing a smokey eye. It just works very well with the eye makeup. The best way to avoid getting clumps in your eyelashes is to wiggle your um, mascara brush. So good. I have powder on, so I'm just gonna reapply and go through my teeth. Okay. I'm gonna For my A3 palette from Elf, I'm, I'm going to use my bronzer, and it looks like this, and this is the bronzer I'm going to use. Um, the little face brush that I come with, I'm just going to use to get used for the bronzer. I'm going to hold my cheeks.
if you do one side of the bronze heart and you can't see the other side, always look in your mirror and the side you do the bronze just look that way. And the from that angle, you can see your cheekbone and just follow that. And voila. <laughs> if you if you are like new to bronze, if you don't get really how to put bronze around, that's one way to do it. Do one side first. If, when you can follow, follow what I do is I I have you know how guys just have sideburns? So where the sideburns would start, I go a little down. So right underneath where the side sideburn would start, I go down. So that's where my cheekbone is. And so the cheekbone, my cheekbone's right here. And I go right underneath it because the bronzer. So keep going. Ready? That's what's up. So just look for your cheekbones up here. And just go right and make it. I'll put your bronze on. For a little tip there. And I'm going to use a blush brush. And then from my, also from the 83 palette. From Elf, I'm going to use this light pink color. I don't want to go overboard. I love this blush because it acts also as, as a highlighter. I don't know if you, you probably heard me say that before, but I just like saying it because it works so well. a very nude pink color. You know Tony wears um Aurora the fuck? This is this Daxon color as well. So you have Tony wears Aurora the fuck and just use that. <laughs> this little helpful tip. Anyways this is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um I love actually love doing this little simple smoky eye for a little date night out. I don't always do this, but this is my once in a while. Um, this is my smoky eye. I don't always do a smoky eye when I go out with my boyfriend. I should do this once in a while. Like, if we go out somewhere like really, really fancy, um, I'll do like a simple, very elegant look, but like, if this is like around the club or something, this is what I use. I like, you know, it's like, Yep, so this is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I'll see you guys next week. Ah.